The passage of time and the occasional accident have left the mesh of this mosquito net completely destroyed. In this video, we will show you how to replace it in an easy, fast, and very economical way. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We have this mosquito net that is a complete mess, mainly due to the passage of time and misuse, which has torn and destroyed it. We asked for the price of a new mesh and seeing that it is quite cheap, we will do the replacement ourselves, as it costs less than $5 for a mosquito net of this size. Stay tuned for this video because it will be very useful for you. Additionally, we will show you a trick we discovered to ensure the perfect attachment of the new mesh. The first thing we need to do is remove the mosquito net from the window. It has three screws on each side that hold the rails through which the mesh slides up and down. We need to remove all of them. The mosquito net itself has two screws that we need to loosen in order to remove the entire piece and work with it more comfortably in a more suitable place. We proceed to dismantle the sides of the mosquito net. In one of them, we will find a mechanism called a spring that is responsible for inertia rolling the mosquito net fabric onto the reel. Once the reel track is removed, we will have a view of the mesh that we need to replace. We unroll it to proceed with the replacement. Now we remove the spring, which is necessary before manually unrolling the fabric. Once the mesh is unrolled, we can see how it is attached to the reel. To remove it, we just need to slide it to one side. The bottom part has the same attachment system. This mesh is attached by a rubber rod that is fused to the mesh itself and fits into the reel through a track. We will imitate this same system. To do this, we need that strip, we will cut it from the old mesh and fuse it to the new mesh. Before that, we must clean the new mosquito net fabric and make sure that when cutting, we follow the same thread so that it remains completely straight. We will stick mesh with mesh to improve the union. After trying several gluing methods, we have opted to use a bicomponent instant adhesive since its bonding is fast and has excellent adhesion properties. We could have stuck the mosquito net fabric to the reel with duct tape as many recommend, but we have discovered this sensational method that does not modify the original system, so it couldn't be better. We will not spare time in this action since a good union is crucial. Now we cut the excess mesh, making sure it has the same width as the old one so that we do not have problems when rolling it onto the reel and passing it through the vertical tracks.
We advise leaving an extra 5 inches when cutting the bottom part of the mesh compared to the old one since this may be useful in the future if a repair is necessary. We proceed to cut the bottom part of the mesh following a straight thread so that it is in line. We also retrieve the bottom fastening rod to be able to fuse it to the new mesh. To fix the new mesh to the bottom fastening rod, we use the same gluing process, but we fold the mesh around the rubber rod and stick mesh with mesh. For a more durable and aesthetic finish, we apply a couple of layers of elastic waterproofing membrane to simulate the finish of the mosquito netting fabrics, achieving a more attractive finish and high resistance in these more delicate parts. Here, we have found an excellent trick. When the mosquito net is ready, we attach it to the reel. insert it into the structure. Place the spring by the wrist inside the reel. Then carefully tension the spring until we get the right tension, preventing it from being forced too much. Now we place the other side cover. We add more liquid membrane on the bottom of the mosquito net. The profile must be slided through the mesh rod. We place the side protectors of the profile, and it's ready. We check that everything works correctly before putting the mosquito net back in its place. As you have seen, this is an easy, fast, and economical method to repair the mosquito net. If you want to add the elastic waterproofing membrane, you will have to invest a little more money, but this will improve the safety, resistance, and aesthetics of the mosquito net. But we leave that in your hands.
We hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you want to learn more about DIY repairs, we recommend visiting our channel and subscribing. Don't hesitate to leave us a comment with your thoughts and remember, we have a new project every Thursday. See you in the next video.